So there was a story that started emerging late last week that I had thought, yeah, maybe I'm going to talk about it. Then I was like, nah, even for me, that's a little lowbrow. I don't want to go there. And that story of course was the rumors that Donald Trump is suffering from very serious flatulence in court. He can't stop farting and it has created a quote, putrid odor in the courtroom and his own lawyers are repulsed by the scent and the smell. And that of course was first uh, reported by Midas touch founder, Ben Mysalis, uh, which was then later kind of confirmed by George Conway, who reported, I have heard the same things from people inside the courtroom that Donald Trump is just stinking it up over there in the defense area. Now, again, none of this has actually been confirmed, confirmed. So we don't know if Donald Trump is suffering from horrific gas, but once we start putting some pieces together, and this is actually why I'm, I've decided to finally talk about this story. All this started on Thursday, right? This was actually reported later in the day on Thursday. So did something specifically happen on a Thursday that could have given Donald Trump horrific gas? Actually, yes, because it was finally reported over the weekend that Donald Trump's lawyer or not his lawyers, but members of his team Thursday afternoon, when they broke for lunch, their team sends three dudes over to McDonald's right down the street where they spend roughly $700 on McDonald's food to bring back to the courtroom for Donald Trump and his legal team and all their staffers. I mean, I don't know how big their team is, but spending $700 at McDonald's for lunch for your people. Yeah, that's, that's going to give you some gas. And here's what it is. <laughs> They're said to have placed an order at the counter on Thursday, which included 27 quarter pounders, 27 portions of fries, filet of fish burgers, and chicken nuggets. <laughs> I love it. It's like that. I think you should leave sketch like fit for burgers, fit for fries, fit for pizzas, fit for pies. It's the 27 quarter pounders and 27 portions of fries, bunch of filet of fishes, some chicken nuggets. Um, yeah, I mean that, that seems to be a very protein and grease heavy meal. And you know, after digestion begins, it's going to cause a lot of gas. So when you put the two stories together, right? You know, they fit like pieces of a puzzle. Like does Donald Trump have horrific gas in court? Well, look at his $700 McDonald's lunch that day. And I think it becomes very plausible, not saying it's confirmed, but very plausible that Donald Trump did probably have a little bit of gas for the next day or so. Um, <laughs> it gets even funnier. Here's, Here's what the McDonald's workers told reporters at Daily Mail. It's not the first time we saw them. They came last year when he was in court. He has a lot of problems. <laughs> so it's like every time Trump goes to court, he's like, oh boy, there's a McDonald's around the corner. And the workers are just like, man, he's got a lot of legal problems. I assume that's what they mean when they say he's got a lot of problems. I mean, maybe they're referring to the amount of food that he's ordering. Like, wow, is he okay? <laughs> Do we need to check on him? Like, that's definitely not good for you. But I also have to say this, uh, just as an aside, obviously, not obviously, I don't know why I said that. Uh, my first job was at a McDonald's, uh, worked there for two years, starting at age 15 to age 17. Uh, it was a great job. I loved it. I, I still actually keep in touch with the friends I worked with at that job. Um, and I will tell you, if somebody had walked in without like calling ahead, because we didn't have it really, you know, mobile apps back in the day didn't exist. Um, if they just straight up ordered at the counter, all that food that would have sent the, the staffers into a frenzy because you don't have that on hand. Um, <laughs> so like, it's very rude of them to not give the restaurant some kind of heads up that they're coming in with this massive $700 order. So that just annoys me on a personal level because it shows their disregard. Like they think so little of these people that they don't think, oh, it doesn't matter if we inconvenience them, you know, screw them. Like that's crappy. It's also kind of crappy that they didn't leave a tip after springing this on them at the last minute of the counter, but it's just a weird story. 
it's a weird series of developments. And that is probably the most accurate thing I could say, not just about this lunch and the gas, but about how the entire trial has taken place so far.